Finding a four-leaf clover is supposed to be a stroke of good luck, but we can increase our odds of being lucky with science. First, science can help you find the real thing. The four-leaf clover of legend is of the species Trifolium repens, or more commonly known as the white clover. What we call leaves are actually the leaflets of a single leaf. Other plants like pepperwort and iron cross usually have four leaflets, but you can tell a real four-leaf clover from an imposter because the fourth leaflet is usually smaller. A statistical analysis can tell you how much clover you need to look for before you find one with four leaflets. Some growers report one in 10,000 clover plants have four leaflets. Assuming that this is a reasonable estimate, we can figure out how much ground we need to cover to maximize our chances. A typical clover field contains about 200 clovers per 60 square centimeters. That means you'd need to scan 1.2 square meters, roughly the surface area of an office desk, to observe 10,000 clover leaves. No guarantee for a four leafer, but at least it gives you a sporting chance. Science can also tell us the best way to look for a four leaf clover. If we scan each leaf individually, it'll probably take a really long time and also wear out our attention. Expert clover hunters say it's better to take a more passive approach. Look and then wait for something to jump out at you, something that deviates from the normal pattern. A classic psychology study explains why this approach might work. Radiologists were shown mammograms for one fifth of a second and then asked to identify which contained a tumor. This isn't nearly enough time to scan an entire image, but the radiologist could flag tumor-containing images better than by chance alone. This pattern recognition indicates that a quick scan approach might work well for clover hunting. Finally, if you're just having no luck finding a wild four-leaf clover, you can always fix the game. A 2010 genetic study from the University of Georgia found that the trait for four leaflets maps to a specific region of the white clover genome. And it's thought that a gene in this region actually suppresses the growth of many leaflets. This notion seems to be supported by the fact that if you take two four-leaf clover plants and cross them, the offspring is more likely to have four leaflets. Do this many times over, and you can get a plant that has up to 56 leaflets, the current world record and presumably 14 times as lucky. For Scientific American's Instant Egghead, I'm Eric Olson. Happy hunting. Ed, they think that the fundamental core of reality comes written in two-dimensional sheets, like this piece of paper. In this view, our world is a three-dimensional projection of information that's written on a two-dimensional surface.